You are having a leisure walk in the woods. All of a sudden, you are being attacked by a swarm of bees. Now, your life depends on your immediate actions. You are being attacked by bees. What would you do? Run as fast as possible away from the swarm. Try swatting the bees away. Jump into a pool or other body of water. And now, make your choice. It may be your first instinct to swat at attacking bees. However, the more you agitate and swat at them, the more fiercely they will swarm and attack you. Furthermore, a killed bee gives off an alarm scent that will only attract its hive mates to the scene of the crime. If swatting at attacking bees isn't a good idea, what about jumping into water? Jumping into water not only increases your risk of drowning but also of getting stung when coming up for air. Angry bees may wait for you to come out and can track you via bubbles of carbon dioxide you might release when underwater. So, what should you do? The best way to get away from killer bees is to run as fast as you possibly can away from the swarm. Run in a straight line as quickly as you can, and continue to run for at least 300 feet or until the bees stop chasing you. While running, avoid swatting and flailing your arms, instead, protect your face by shielding your nose, mouth, and eyes. You can also use a blanket, sheet, or your shirt to cover your head and face. Seek shelter as soon as possible. Try to find a place with a door that you can close, such as a room, vehicle, or public restroom. Only a small number of bees will be able to follow you into a closed space. Even if a few killer bees do get through, it should stop the assault of the entire swarm. If you do end up getting stung, remove the bee stingers as soon as possible to prevent the spread of venom through your system. According to Dr. Schmidt, an entomologist, the myth of searching for a credit card to remove stingers can be dangerous, as you could waste valuable seconds looking for something flat to scrape them out with. Instead, Schmidt recommends getting them out, pulling them out, rubbing them out, pinching them out, as fast as possible because the more time they stay in there, the more venom enters your body. Last but not least, seek medical attention if you experience an adverse reaction to the stings. And that's all you need to know about surviving a bee attack. Subscribe to this series to learn about survival skills in times of crisis.